uh, I remember my friend telling me, hey, Shita, did you apply for the program? And I was like, oh, no, I forgot. So I actually applied a day before the deadline. So that just comes to show how spontaneous decisions completely change your life. Hey, guys, today, once again, it's a pleasure to introduce another Next Genius Scholar who got into Lynn University, Florida. So hi, Ishita, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Ishita. I am an IB student uh, and I've done my high school from MIT Vishwashanti Gurukul in Pune. I am an incoming freshman into Lynn University in Florida and I've won a 100% scholarship. I will be um, looking to do my major in psychology or forensic investigations. So as you chose IB, what does that mean you were start- you started to prepare for studying abroad in your ninth grade or it was later? Okay, so um, I would say an interesting fact about me is my high school was my eighth school. So um, I've moved a lot throughout my life and uh, I've lived in four different countries, including India. So from like a young age, my parents have always put me in that international school system. So I was constantly uh, jumping between IGCSE and IB. When it came to my uh, ninth grade, um, it was in my head that, okay, I'm going to do my undergraduate educa- education abroad. And so, yeah, that's partially why I continued with the international board. And I did my IGCSE till 10th grade, after which I switched to the IB board. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So in your journey, 9th to 12th grade, so you were entirely in one board or you switched in that time too? Yeah. So my 9th and 10th grade, I was doing the uh, IGCSE board, the Cambridge board. And then in my 11th and 12th, I joined IBDP. So being from international curriculum, so what countries you were deciding in and what universities you applied to that give 100% scholarship? Okay. So um, I'm going to be very honest right now. When I was applying for universities, a lot of universities actually came to our school uh, in those fairs where they interacted with us and also a lot of US universities did come as well as uh, like a good majority of Canadian universities. And I would say uh, universities from New Zealand, um, Dubai. So it was like a like a hub of uh, universities from all over the world. So uh, this was when I had to like narrow down the countries I was looking at and where I actually wanted to apply. And um, I narrowed it down to uh, the US and Canada. But uh, personally, the US education, uh, the entire thing, it was a bit too expensive for me, I would say mainly. And also, um, I, I was like, I was a pure like, I was a student who was headed towards the Canadian direction. So uh, I didn't even really research on much universities in uh, the US. I was like, no, I'm going to Canada for sure. And I mainly applied to Canadian universities. But Canadian universities getting 100% scholarship is extremely, extremely difficult. Only one student in one department all over the world gets this opportunity in most of the schools, right? So actually, my university counselor, she told me, Ishta, you know, there's this, there's this wonderful opportunity um, for a scholarship. And uh, obviously, I was pretty intrigued. And uh, she told me about the Next Genius Scholarship Program. And uh, firstly, I couldn't believe her, honestly. I was like, um, it's almost impossible to get a full tuition scholarship, that too, in the US. It's like pretty, it's a pretty rare opportunity. So when she told me this, um, Honestly, I kept it at the back of my mind. I was like, okay, uh, like, hota hai to hone do kind of thing. And I moved ahead with my Canadian application. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, Lynn was the only university I applied to in the US. So that just oh. shows you like how Canada oriented I was. I was like, no, I'm not even going to the US unless I win this thing. <laughs> That's so, so amazing. Now, can you break down into step-by-step process how you got to uh, got to know about Genius Scholarship Program and how you applied step-by-step until you got in? Okay, so uh, like I said, my university counselor actually introduced me to the Next Genius uh, Scholarship Program and I was a student who had like a lot of uh, different things going on at the same time, extracurricular sports and in-school activities. So I actually forgot about the deadlines and the application dates and stuff. So uh, I remember my friend telling me, hey, Ishta, did you apply for the program? And I was like, oh no, I forgot. So I actually applied a day before the deadline. So that just comes to show how spontaneous decisions completely change your life. And I had to give a level one exam, which was basic. So are you talking about the SAT level one exam or a different exam? No, so the Next Genius has its own um, level one exam, which is 
uh, a basic math and English exam, and you have to like pass that, and then based on that, they actually um, that actually helps you to get allocated in like a college. After oh. which, um, uh, you have to uh, you have to choose your top three preferences out of the colleges that they are affiliated with. Oh, so you only chose Lin University, and then then uh, yeah. what was the next step in the application process? So okay. you. So after that, um, once you choose your top three preferences, uh, Next Genius will allot you one of the three colleges um, that you have chosen. Most likely, it is the first one. So uh, if you're lucky, you do get the first one. Depends on the number of seats available, of course. And uh, after which, we're called for an interview. So uh, when I was when uh, I was selected, I was called for an interview in Mumbai, and it may be termed an interview, but it's not like an interview atmosphere. It's like a group of friends having a really good discussion, conversation, and uh, at this interview, the the admission officer she's actually there. Uh, she he or she they're there representing the university, and they get to interact with you and get to know you. in a more a uh, personal kind of way it's not the regular you're writing your common app essay clicking submit and that's it they get to interact with you and get to know you as a person so uh, after that they decide whether or not you've gotten the scholarship or not so now let's talk about the extracurriculars that got you into lin university i still believe that the competition is really really strong out there so what do you think that what were some of the most impactful extracurriculars that you had done Okay, so uh, I'm actually heavily involved with sports. Uh, I was a swimmer, and I've actually gone up to the international level. I have swam in the United World Games in Austria last year. So um, definitely, sports was something that I did want to highlight on my uh, application. And uh, other than that, I would say being an IB student. Um, we have this thing called cas where it's like creativity activity and service so and that's like integrated into our um, syllabus and we have to perform like um, experiences relating to community service and different activities which obviously it's like a diploma requirement so with with that also there i think i had a lot to talk about in terms of community service and different activities that i did one example would be that uh, i'm a licensed scuba diver and uh, i got my license uh, on a cast trip that we had in school so uh, like i would say that um, mentioning these experiences and these activities that you do and uh, giving different perspectives of like the extracurricular aspect is i think really important makes a really strong application yep and what about psychology did you also mention anything any extracurricular activities uh, related to psychology as well uh-huh. yes yeah, so uh, actually i have interned with an organization which um they they host um, like webinars and sessions for the public on a on a like a there's no cost you can attend it uh, if, if you're interested and these are like mental health um, discussions and webinars uh, and they actually discuss the teenage mind and how our society uh, is changing and how our parents are also changing the mindset so this was something that really appealed to me and i like reached out to this organization and i wanted to be a part of that add some experience before i actually got into the field So now let's talk about the IB score or the SAT score that help you get into Lin. Okay. So um Lin University is a test optional school so I did not submit my SAT scores. Uh and considering the current pandemic situation the uh, IB program we didn't actually write our exams they were cancelled this year. So I was predicted a 90 plus uh but I got a B plus. So um that was like there was no basis of like grading or anything so they did just give us like our results um recently wow that's so amazing because students get scared that they really need that 90% mark or 85% so predicted should be 90% above but later on it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. i think there's this misconception that um like uh, scholarships are only uh, like awarded to like that few like 90% and above students but i feel like if you have a really strong application like a holistic application which portrays all your strengths uh, then i think definitely anyone can uh, get a scholarship even if they're not in that small percentile of kids who get above 95 so the last question would be what do you think in your overall common app application or next genius application what was the most impactful part was it the essay or scores 
I would say one of the most impactful uh, components of my application was definitely my essay. I remember the admissions officer telling me she remembered my essay and that it did um, like leave an impact on her. So I think definitely students should put in effort on their essays. It's not something that's overlooked. And uh, I think real life experiences and your personality can actually shine through what you write on that essay and what you give to them. So that's definitely a factor they do consider uh, while going through applications and all. Oh, that's amazing. So uh, what do you think what was the standing out factor in your essay if you want to talk about? Yeah, uh, definitely. So um, since I have moved a lot uh, in my life uh, and I have changed a lot of schools, uh, I, racism is something that I came across and I did want to highlight that this problem still exists in our current day and uh, whether it's not like full blown out like direct racism there is like suppressed comments and stuff that you do hear on a day-to-day -day basis which do indicate that this this like thing which shouldn't exist it still exists in our modern day 21st century so i wrote about my experience with racism and how there were different mindsets and um different perspectives in each culture that I lived in, how they viewed uh, beauty and colored identity. I wrote about that in my essay and how as a young child that really impacted my self-confidence and my view of the world. So that's something I did want to put forward because I am uh, extremely passionate about voicing my thoughts and I do like to write and also I definitely spoke about that in my essay. Another important question, why did you choose Lynn University over any other need aware or need blind university in the US? So Lynn has an accelerated degree program where you actually finish your undergraduate degree in three years instead of four. And I'm currently pursuing that. Uh, you need to have a GPA above, I think, uh, 2.8 to enter that um, program. Out of the colleges um, that Next Genius was affiliated with, Lynn did stand out to me because of its student teacher ratio. I think it's incredibly important for the professor to know your name and know who you are in a classroom. I don't like that a uh, typical college atmosphere where you're sitting at the back of a of a like a seminar hall and no one knows your name. You're just, you're sleeping off, dozing off in the end. I don't like that. I really wanted my professors to know me and know my name and the work I do. So that's something I definitely kept um, into my mind. Uh, secondly, uh, Lynn is. Uh, one of the three schools in the US that is in partnership with Apple. So we have iPad powered learning, which, which means that we have no textbooks, notebooks on campus. We get an iPad at the start of our freshman year and that's ours to keep and all of our textbooks, notebooks, everything is on that device. And um, our professors actually write the textbooks and update them uh, so that, I mean, information is constantly being modified and changed so I think that aspect of having a textbook which is up to date with the current technology and information I think that's something that was really like cool to me I thought that I'm gonna have textbooks that are up to date and lastly I would say Lynn really does give importance to the development of your soft skills as well as your hard skills so the hard skills are the uh, your technical terms your a major and all that but communication how to write a resume how to approach a job these are soft skills that nobody really teaches you but I think you really need to learn them in order to be successful in the future so Lynn dedicates an entire term just uh, it's called J term which is the January month they dedicate that entire term for the development of language communication and leadership which I think was absolutely fantastic being in a college atmosphere someone's teaching you these things these life skills basically which you need to know perfect so thank you so much Ishita for sharing your valuable information I wish you good luck to start your semester and this video will help out all the prospective students trying to get next senior scholarship as well thank you for having me Thank you.